so guys today we are going to be building a quiz application it's going to be a full stack application so if you are a novice or a newbie to react native this application is perfectly for you so let's just go ahead and see the application that we're going to be working on so it's a quiz app when we click on start quiz it's going to take us to another screen and it's going to make a request to the api that we're going to be making use of and grab these questions preload it and present it to us then we can go ahead to select the right answer and when we select any answer it goes over to the next question so as you select answer automatically it's calculating both uh, the correct answer whether you got the correct answer or whether you selected the wrong answer and at the end let's just go ahead and go to the end so i attempted like two or three questions it's going to also notify me that at the end so let me just go over to maybe the eighth question and i'm going to select an answer and it's going to take me to the ninth and i'm going to select an answer and lastly it's going to bring me to the last question so the last question over here so let's just select a random answer as well and when we are done with that it's going to automatically calculate our score and show us whether we passed the quiz and you can see your quiz completed successfully you attempted six questions and you only got four in the quiz test so that four is 40 percent of the quiz so we are going to be using the open tdb api to actually work with this uh quiz application because that's where we're going to be making our api request so i know i already have a quiz tutorial or video on my channel but this is more like a more advanced uh type of quiz because if you can observe this one has an animation and also a scrovy animation to animate the questions uh to move from the left to the right so we also animated the the button if you can observe the last button over here was supposed to be the next but automatically changed to submit because of the animation feature on it so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so guys if you wish to buy me a coffee i'm gonna put my link in the description just click on that buy me a coffee or if you wish to support my channel through your through paypal you can just go ahead and do that for me to create more quality and mighty content so let's get started so don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button so guys before we begin just go over to the description you're going to see a link to the github repo for the boiler plate that we're going to be making use of so we have some couple of dependencies we are going to be working with and you can see we have the radar should animated exactly you need these two versions so if you know uh, if you don't have these two versions i think okay yes that's it over here you can see the zip file that i added over here for the radash just extract it on your node modules and you're gonna have access to all the radash 14.2.1 uh, functions for animation so let's go ahead and start with shopify style over here you can see i'm using shopify style and i'm just going to go over to components i'm going to create a file called theme so the theme file is already created so for the theme we are going to import from at shopify so i don't know why i'm making mistakes so early but i'm gonna take it easy shopify style then we have to bring in the create text why i like working with shopify style since i noticed it is because it's more like when you're working with xml and it's, it makes things more direct and restricts some things maybe your uh, styles you don't want to make use of you will see that you don't even need to put those things down so it kind of make things simple like you're working with xml then we have the create box and lastly we have to import from Re react native size matters so this size matters is for scaling to give us a perfect width and height for any form of scale or height so i'm going to import moderate scale so i'm going to create a team and i'm going to define some colors so I can, I can define white and I'm going to define the primary color which is as 2133A0 and I'm going to define the test color which is as 272A29 I'm going to define the button which is as 7C I think 7C72 ff so i'm just going to do this quickly then we can proceed then i'm going to add uh, color uh, the spacing 
So for the spacing, we have the small to be 8, the medium to be 16. So it all depends on your choice. You can use your own values if you want. Then we have the extra large to be 40. And I'm going to define the border radius. So all these things are on Shopify style GitHub page. So you can just go over there and check it. So I'm just going to define 10. We have the large to be 25. And we have the extra large to be 75. Then we have the text variance. So text variance are more like you can define a particular title and description. Font size is special with our font size, each for anyone you maybe key values you want to use. So we have the text variance, we have the title, then we have the font size. Then the font size is for the, uh, we are going to be using the moderate scale to be 15. So the moderate scales actually make use of your device view, viewports to actually give you, uh, round it up to the nearest value that is going to be perfect for any, any scale or any size you apply it to. So we have the font family. So at the font family, we are using the gold term black. Then we have the color to be white. So why I use white here is because I defined white over here. So if you use any color that is not over here, even if you use an X color, it's going to automatically give you an error. So you, you must make sure you define your colors. Then you use your defined colors to style your variance in your text variants. Then we have the body. Font size of 16. We have the line height of 25. Then we have the font family of Gotham medium. Then we have the text as well to be text. So we have the text over there and that's uh, something like a dark color. Then we have the body and the bottom and the button. So for the, uh, okay, we already have put the body uh, for the button. We have the font size 15, font family, as Gotham bold, and we have the color to be text. Then lastly, we have breakpoints, but we are not going to be using breakpoints. So let me just add that so that we don't experience any error. Then at the end of it, I'm going to export type of theme. So this theme is uh, comes from the Shopify theme, so which type of theme. So let me just go ahead at the top and import that theme. I think uh, it comes from here. So sorry guys, I just made a mistake. This theme over here is a type of this theme because why I, I just totally forgot what I should do. But this, like when you want to create a theme, you, when you want to make use of box or text, you must use a theme. So we are going to make use of the theme that we defined at the top. Then we can export const text. So this text, you can actually just export type of theme and stop. But for the benefit of others that might find it difficult to flow with, let's just go ahead and create our own uh, theme over here. We can create a theme. And that's it, you can create a text or a box just like that, or a box like this. So you can just bring in the create box, but you must specify the type. So you can create your own theme just like we just did, then you can pass the theme over here. So why I exported this, maybe in the, as you proceed, we want to create a, a different theme, then we can just use the theme to create either the box or the text that we want. So, and we can just pass in theme over there. And lastly, we can export default to be theme. So that's it, that's it for Shopify style. So the theme over here, you can see exactly everything that we are making is off here. So I don't know why I'm having this red squiggly line, but I don't think that this is an error. And let's move ahead. Maybe it's because of the TypeScript feature. But let's move ahead and uh, start our application. So I'm just going to start Yon Android. 
So when we start, it's going to automatically close this down because this is a preview of the app that we are building. And we can just give that some seconds. 